So we're going to start by doing the gradient mesh tool, which is a beautiful tool. It's a tool that gives a wonderful watercolor finish to vector art on its vector, which means that it can be scaled very easily. So to begin with, we want to set up our uh, smart guides. And so if you don't have your smart guides shown already, you go to View and Smart Guides and make sure they're showing. And then go to Edit and Preferences and Smart Guides. And when we get here, we want to make sure that Construction Guides is off, Measurement Labels is off, and Anchor Path Labels are off. And we want to have Object Highlighting, Transform Tools highlighted, and for the snapping tolerance, we want one point. And I'm going to say OK here. So I'm going to zoom in on this butterfly image. This butterfly image is an Adobe file. And um, it's in Classroom in a book. And we're going to use that tutorial. It does a very good job of explaining how to use the gradient tool. So if you open that file and go along with me, uh, that would be nice. I also want to explain the swatches here. This is a special swatches colors, and we're going to be using this. So I'll zoom in on the first butterfly here, and I'm going to uh, select with the regular selection tool, this particular wing, and go to the gradient tool. Uh, first of all, I'm going to choose, go to the fill here, and choose the color number two. Here it is. And I will go with my gradient tool and just, oops, didn't want that. I go to the gradient tool here and click and then come to color number two. And you see it gives that lovely, lovely um, color there. Okay, so let's move on to the right wing here and click. And we can give it another color by clicking again here like that. And let's go to color number three. And we'll do the same on the other one here. And you see, we have already have quite a lovely uh, piece here. OK, so now we're going to come over and select this wing here. And we will go up to the object and create gradient mesh. And this time, we're going to put in the number of rows and columns that we have need. OK, so we'll have three rows and four columns. And if you see here, I'm going to say OK here. All right, so there we have it. And this time, we're going to go to our lasso tool here and just lasso select and lasso oops, why is this not working lasso so and we're going to come to the group selection tool here and select this one and over here and hold down our shift key and there we go and we can choose a color I'll choose uh, color number one this time and so what I want you to see, and if you look on page uh, 398, uh, no, yeah, 398 in your tutorial, you will see that this center part here is the mesh patch. This point here is the anchor point. Um, I should say, excuse me, this point here is the anchor point because it's the outside of the wing. This is the mesh point. 
and this is the mesh line. So that will help you, and, and you're going to be tested on it later, so make sure that you know what those different things are. So now you can select lines with the direct selection tool and just add color to these different things here. You can go like this. And you know, I just think it's to add a little yellow to it even though it's not part of the pal panel. There we go. So I have to select it first. There we go. Uh, how pretty is that? Okay, so that's how you apply colors to the mesh. So, moving on, we're going to go down to this butterfly here, and we'll select this top wing. I'll zoom in just a little bit more here. And we're going to go to Object and Create Mesh. And uh, we will have uh, three rows and three columns this time. Now, what I want you to do is put on the preview so you can see what happens. So on the appearance here, you can say to center. And you see how lovely that is. It just creates a lovely gradient. Or you could say to edge. And that's lovely too. So uh, let's just leave it uh, right now as uh, to center. Okay. And say OK. Yeah. So now we want to put uh, some color onto the edges here. And you can go to your lasso tool here. Just going to go here, around here, and select those points. And I'll go to the um, color three here, and you see how that gives a very, very lovely color. All right, and of course you can go with your direct selection tool and select any of of these and give it a very nice color also. Okay, moving on down here. Uh, let's move to uh, our bottom wing here. And just go to the grading tool. And, and this time for the color, we're going to ch check, uh, select color number three, excuse me, and just click in the middle. And you see we automatically get a mesh point. All right. So if you like, every time you click, you get another mesh point. And it can be quite lovely. All right. So there we have it. So we're going to keep moving on here, and we're going to reflect these. I'm just going to control minus a little bit to come back a little. And I'm going to select the top wing and the bottom wing. And we'll go to the reflect tool, which is under the rotate tool. And alt click in the middle of our butterfly's body. And we will reflect this. 46 degrees and make a copy. Oh dear. I don't know. You know, I don't have them selected. There we go. Have this selected. Go to the reflect tool. Alt click in the middle here. There we go. And 46 degrees. And copy. There we go. Isn't that nice? All right. So we're going to come up here now to this one here, and we're going to select this bug up here, and come to the Reflect tool, and I'll click on the 
body, and this one is going to be 36 degrees. And we'll copy it, and there we have it. All right, so we're going to stop right now, and we'll continue on the rest of this visual on the next video. Bye!